Hey Glams, it's your host again, Natanda with The Glam Life, where I'll be providing complete beauty tips, techniques, and testimonials to reveal the glam in you. If you are new to this channel, please click that red subscribe button below. And once again, thank you to all my returning viewers, subscribers, as well as followers. I'm back here with another makeup tutorial. This one is going to be featuring the Black Radiance Foundations along with the Photo Focus Powders. So I'm going to be showcasing just pretty much these two products on my face um, as you all know when I use foundations and I use and when I use powders I like to use um, two shades because as you all see my face is not one shade so I use a lighter shade on my lighter spots and a darker shade on my darker areas so uh, without further ado I'm going to go ahead and get started and the foundation that I'm going to be using is the um, Black Radiance uh, Color Perfection Foundation. I picked this up from my local Walmart for about four bucks. So it's a good drugstore foundation. I'm just shaking it up. And this is in the shade um, 849 Caramel. And I'm going to be putting this up under my eyes, down the center of my face, and on my chin area. And it has like a little wand inside uh, these foundations. Um, which, you know, is a good aid in helping it glide on. My face was already primed prior to this tutorial, um, to me starting this tutorial, excuse me. So, um, always make sure your face is, um, primed. So basically, as you all see, I have it, um, on my, uh, forehead. Uh, chin up under my eyes areas and I have a powder brush I noticed that powder brushes um, this is a new technique that I am starting it actually gives my face that more that airy um, air airbrush look so I'm going to be using a powder brush to blend this out And look how it's um, giving it that airbrush look. And that's the look that I'm going for. To me, it just looks more polished. And the drawback to these foundations is that the coverage is not a full coverage foundation. So you have to really build the coverage. If you're looking for something that's more full coverage, you're going to have to apply, you know, um, another coat. So I am going to go in with another coat of this. So the coverage on here is not... It's not a full coverage, but as you all see with that powder brush, look how airbrushed it looks. And I'm actually kind of uh, liking it. Um, and how I discovered this technique is that I picked this brush up by accident and I was blending out my makeup and I was like, oh no, it's not my foundation brush. But I loved how the results came out as a result. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more of the um, caramel because I want a little bit more coverage. So, um, that's the only drawback with this foundation is that it's not the full, full coverage, but it's fine though. Um, you only, I only paid like $3 and some change for it. So, and I'm just gonna take this brush again and just uh, continue to blend. So the coverage is going to have to be buildable if you are looking for something more um, fuller. But all in all, it is a good um, foundation. To wear and I'm just going in my lighter areas and just filling it in. But look at that airbrush look as a result of me using this powder brush. It just gives it a more of a whipped. Um, polish look all right now I'm going to be taking my darker shade and this shade is in the 88429 espresso and I'm just going to be going as you all see on the outer skirts wherever there is not any foundation and I'm just going to blend it in I get it all off the wand all right so I'm just gonna blend it all in
And look at that uh, coverage clams. I put a lot more on this one, but you all see how it's just coming all together. Um, blending is technique is key. Is a key technique, excuse me, when applying these foundations. Um, any foundation, you can have the best, you know, foundation on the market, but if you don't blend it well, it's not going to serve you any purpose. So I'm just going through and just um, blending it all in. And you all see that it covers uh, pretty well. Um, it does feel lightweight. It doesn't feel masky. And I like this because it's um, inexpensive. And if I want to go out with some makeup and don't want to use my good stuff, the Black Radiance products, um, is it does it for me. But um, look at that glam. Um, flawless. It's covered pretty much all of my imperfections. This coverage right here is just flawless. So... And again, just showcasing the Black Radiance um, Color Perfection Foundation along with the Soft Focus uh, Powder. That's all I'm going to have in this tutorial right here. But look at that. Flawless. Flawless. All right, now I'm going to set because anytime you wear a foundation, it's just good to set with a powder. So it um, gives it that more of that polished look. And I have these two um, powders right here in the soft focus. Um, this lighter shade, excuse me, the lighter shade is, um, what shade is this? Um, they don't have the shades on here, but this is the lighter shade and this is the darker shade. I think this one's in the finishing bronze right here. And this one I think is like in a toffee or a caramel. Um, I'll have make sure I have those colors in the description box. But I'm just going to pretty much take the lighter shade and I'm just going to put over my nose, up under my eyes, the same place I put the darker shade of foundation to set it in. To give it that polished look. And I like to make sure I get up under my eyes really good because that's where my foundation likes to settle in those creases and along my smile lines. And just look at that polished look. And this is in the lighter shade again. I do not know the shade, so I'm going to be having it in the description box. And I'm just going to take the uh, darker shade and I'm just going to go over the rest of my face. And the look is just pretty much complete. I'm just going to showcase the foundation. But my foundation look is pretty much complete. Again, yeah, I'm loving this um, uh, foundation right here. As you all see, the uh, coverage is flawless. Um, I get more of an airbrush um, look when I go in with the powder brush going in or over it and the brush one thing I like about it is that it's not wet like as opposed to when I use my foundation brush the brush is um, actually not wet so um, it really uh, helps the product go on uh, with a much with much better ease so this is the finished look and um, I've used the black radiance color perfection foundations right here and the um soft focus um products right here so comment below and tell me what you think i'm going to finish up this look until then guys be blessed and be glamorous